What is going on YouTube fam? Mikey here shooting an icy high adventure video. I am out with a motley group of people who know what they are doing with ice fishing because I have no idea. This is my first time in years being out on the ice. Today we are going after perch and trout. Preferably trout is what I'm told, but I would like to get some perch for a recipe that we're gonna be throwing down today. I'm gonna to show you how we're gonna be cooking these up a little bit later on. I wanna stop talking, let's get fishing. So I kind of feel like I brought a knife to a gunfight. I brought a rod and a few jigs. Everybody behind me has fish finders, multiple rods, tents, sleds, and everything. So that just shows you who is the noob here today. All right, guys, we got our first fish of the day. Hey, there we go. Nice. That's a nice looking perch. Thanks, sir. Perfect. Yeah, what are we using, little forage jig. Looks like a perch. A little bit of worm on it. Yeah, tipped with a little worm. Yep. That's awesome. That's what they're gobbling up. Guys, we've been here for like five minutes, maybe already a perch. So that's a great sign. Obviously there are like, I don't know, eight of us fishing. We have a ton of rods in the water. So good chance we get a lot of good fish today. Guys, check this out. One of the things they're using today, they're using perch eyes. So one of the guys earlier actually caught a perch. And so now he's tipped his bait with a little perch eye. I know that's kind of disgusting, but the fish love it. <laughs> love it. This is what I'm going to start with today. Um, my jig dealer, Tyler, I'll put a link in the description below. He hit me up with this new jig. It is called the Joker. It's got some purple color, then that lime green and the orangish red eyes. I'm pretty excited to give that a try. This is my first time ever trying it. If you guys, again, want some, go hit him up and uh, he can make them handmade for you and get them sent to you. Dude, you've got like a maggot j yeah, tipped so on there or something, right? Little wax worms. They're like a giant maggot. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, like a little three millimeter tungsten. Cool. That's awesome. So dude, how many how many perch would you guess to be in a reservoir like this? Are we talking so, hundreds of thousands, millions? This game has estimated two to three million perch. In here. Wow. wow. And there's if not more. They've told everyone, keep as many perch as you can because they're getting stunned. Oh, gotcha. You get too many fish in one reservoir that doesn't have enough food source, right. they're all gonna be six to eight inches, if not smaller. Right. So if you can manage it and get enough fish out of there where it's a good ratio of fish to bait and forage you right. can get some tanker perch we can reach cascade potential in here but okay it's just a matter of getting that food source to the ratio of perch cool oh here we go fish out oh i meant nothing never mind nothing no oh that's a good oh yeah we had a bunch of fish that's in here, a huge dude. school micah Dude, we guys, you can't see it because my camera's not going to pick it up. It's but about there's 10 to 15 fish. We, we are entertaining. Oh, look at him run. Look at him run as fast as he can for mine. Dude, yeah, he wants Fish it. on. Oh, oh, oh dude. You, that's crazy. See, fish on. Look at that, guys. That is impressive. That's, look, you still got him on YouTube, bro. Okay. Or am I pulling you up accidentally? Yeah. Oh, maybe you're pulling yeah. me up. That's what happens when you're fishing close by. Look at that. There we go. Yeah, I got you, but. Dude, that's so cool. still down there, so I'm going to rock yeah. the ears. Heck yeah. Down. <laughs> that was impressive. We seem like we're at really good uh, depth right here. Yeah, oh, look, look at see him already racing up for you? That's what I'm talking about. Bro. Oh, yeah. So slowly keep dropping it to him. Yes. All right, hold it right there and just slowly jig it. Slowly jig it. He's going to hit it. Let it sit. Let it sit. There he is. Yeah, Got him. Michael. Dude, yeah. And I'm about to get a double right here. Is this a first timer? <laughs> this is a first oh. perch through the ice for me. Nice. Oh, about to get a double up. This is a Are first, you guys. Oh. There we go. Oh. There we go. Micah. Check yeah. that out, guys. Nice fatty perch. Double up. Oh, there we go. That's We're awesome. On a huge school right here. Guys, that is on Tyler's The Joker jig right there. Tyler, thanks so much. That's a good looking Look fish. Oh, up. hey, here we go, bro. Woo. Nice. Just toss him in the snow there. Yeah, what do you got over here? Check that out, guys. He just spit up a little baby perch. It looks like hey, a perch minnow. Yeah. That's oh, awesome. Here we go. There's a piggy. That's a big one. Nice. That's a good look one. That's a fatty. Here we go, guys. Fish number two. It was just sitting on the bottom, guys. I did. I wasn't even jigging. I literally just picked it up, and he was on. On that joker jig. Look at that fatty. Look at that, guys. Beautiful fish. That's awesome. That's what we're after right there. Yeah! 
Let's film it. It's on. It's on. There we go. Nice. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Look at that. There we go. Not a bad little fish right there. This is actually where I spun out. I slid in to try to grab the rod because it was bent over in the hole. That was awesome. Not a bad perch right there. I'll take that. Got one! Oh yeah! Woo! Look at that! YouTube fam, I am a little bit overwhelmed with so many people fishing. The bite is really active, the sun just came out, and I almost can't keep up with how many fish people are pulling out. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get some of these fish on our seasoning. We're gonna be using a Buffalo Wild Wing salt and vinegar seasoning. We're gonna let them marinate in that seasoning for about 45 minutes or so, and then go ahead and start frying some up in our salt and vinegar fish fry today. So let's go ahead and start cleaning some fish. All right guys, check that out. We got a nice mess of fillets right there. Now what I'm gonna do next is I have some Buffalo Wild Wings salt and vinegar seasoning. We're gonna throw all those fillets in a Ziploc bag. We're gonna let them marinate in there for about an hour or so. Then we're gonna go ahead and fry them up right here on the ice while we're fishing. Toss a bunch right in there like that. I want a lot in there because I want them coated on all the fillets. Drop our fillets right in like that. Pour some more seasoning over the top like that mix them all around in there really move those fillets around so they coat all that salt and vinegar coats each fillet all right our fillets are all covered up now we just let them sit and soak up that flavor guys we're gonna set up instead of a jig James has a little bit of a different setup dude what are we throwing down here we're gonna throw a little tungsten about three millimeter with a perch eyeball cool. and we're doing it on a dead stick we're gonna do a little bit off bottom, see if any trout or perch come cruising through and see if we can get them. Dude, that's awesome. Let's get it down there. Let's do it, man. Oh, there's 
that one? That one's going right there. Right there. You want to grab it? Get it. Is that it? Right there, right there. Oh, Travis, quick. There you go. You got him? All right, here we go. Nice and easy. There we go. Nice job. Woo, that went fast. Yeah, Grease. Good job, That's good job. Nice fish. Clear some of this. Here we go. Let's see it come up. That's a nice fish, Grease. Oh, yeah, look at that. Nicely That's done. Good. Hold him up. There you go. Look at that. That's a fatty perch right out of the ice. Good job. Is that you? It's on there. All right, dude. We're in on another one. Got him. Let's see what happens. Got a good one. Yep. Fish on. There we go. Nice, dude. Yeah, this is a fatty. Dude, that's a good looking perch right there. Nice, dude. This, this is our days gone so far. Got a mess of fish here. Got another nice mess over here. Oh, good. A few more. How many are we up to, do you guys figure? Maybe 50, 50 plus? Gang, this might take the cake over here, though. Guys, you guys are just loading up. We've got the, uh, you guys are in the honey hole over yeah. here. All right, it is time to start making our wash for our fish fillets, which just consists of eggs and milk. And I'm going to use quite a bit of eggs this time because there are a lot of people with me. I want to make sure I can try to feed everybody. Put it all in there together. And then we're going to mix it around with our little camping uh, utensil thingy-majigger. I'll have a link to all of my cooking stuff and what I use in the description below. So check it out if you'd like any of the uh, items there that you see before you. Mixing some salt in with some flour. That will be part of the batter that's going to go on those fillets. Now, I like to use Tim's potato chips sea salt and vinegar they just have a little bit more of a punch a little bit more of a pow than uh, lay's salt and vinegar chips we're gonna pour all of those in to a ziploc bag again i want a lot because i'm cooking up a lot of perch i think i ended up cooking up like 10 12 perch in this video I'm gonna crunch those all up try to crunch them down as much as you can uh into a nice as fine a pieces as you can then that way it's gonna cover all the fillets really well and uh, you won't have any big chunks. Guys, check this out. Our fillets have been marinating for about an hour. And look at all the moisture it's brought out of those fillets when you put the salt and vinegar on them. So what we're going to do is I'm actually going to rinse them off. Because if I wouldn't rinse them off, it would overpower the meat. And you'd have a way pungent salt and vinegar flavoring. And then we're going to dab them dry a little bit with a paper towel. Then go ahead and throw them in our chip crumbs and we'll be ready to go. All right, our fillets are cleaned off and patted dry. Next, we're going to get our little cooking setup lit up here. Also going to pour some vegetable oil into our pan. Again, you guys want links to any of this. I love this little setup. It's so compact, so easy to travel around with me. Um, it's really awesome. Link in the description below to all that. Now we're going to take our fillets, dredge them around in our egg and milk wash, then into the flour, and then straight into the bag with all of our chip crumbs. And what you're going to want to do is put all of those fillets in there, or at least a few. I think I put like six or eight at a time. Then really press those chips firmly into the meat, really getting all of the fillets coated really nicely. All right, guys, we're going to take a little bit of our flour, pop it in, see how that bubbles up right there. That means our oil's hot enough. Now we're going to go ahead and reach in our little trusty tongs here, and grab all of our fish fillets out, or at least a few of them, start cooking them up. Get a load of that, guys. Getting a really strong salt and vinegar smell off of that. Just rotating around a little bit. Nice, crispy chip coating. Look at that. Oh, that smells delicious. Still got our stick on the ice there. No bites yet, but we'll keep an eye on it while we're cooking. All right, guys. We're going to pull the first batch off. We've got some extra paper towels to soak up. The grease, look at that. Nice and crispy, crunchy it looks like to me. And to add just a little bit more flavoring, I'm just gonna sprinkle just a dusting of the salt and vinegar right over the top. Look at that, these are like buffalo wild wing fish. I guess buffalo wild fish wings is what you'd call those. <laughs> James, man, appreciate you bringing me out today, dude. dude. Anytime, it's been fun. Dude, get a load of that, grab one. Tell us what you think, dude. This. First time ever. Oh yeah, dude. honest opinion, man, for for everybody. As a fan of the salt and vinegar chips, that is bomb, bro. 
Sweet. Try that. Dude, I'm gonna get after it. Thank you. There you go, look at this. Fresh out of the water, probably half hour old. Yep. Wow. Yep. Super Try fresh. Salt and vinegar, man. Mm. Oh, man. Guys, get in on that. You, you Tell me what you think good. honestly. This is the first time we've ever done this recipe before. Excellent. That is very well done and cooked. That's good. Awesome. Very well. Oh, you hear the ice crack? Yeah, I heard that ice <laughs> crack below us. <laughs> All right, guys, we are frying more up. I've turned into Camp Cook now because this recipe is a hit even if you don't know how to fish you can go get your own fish and all this stuff could be bought at the store and it's super cheap so you can do it right at home so if you get the opportunity you got to give this a try for sure james has told me that you can actually eat these perch eggs i am not convinced but he says he's gonna go ahead and throw it down so to end the video we're going to try apparently in his opinion some delicious perch eggs bro how are you gonna Very prepare delicious. these so I'm gonna hit them with flour first, egg wash, and then back in the flour to get a double coating, and then I'm gonna throw them in those chips. We're gonna throw them in the oil and see how they turn out, man. All right, dude, let's do it, let's do it. So we've got these three, egg wash it real quick. Okay, just like we did with the fillets then, basically. Exactly. And then, flour. gonna go right into our chip mix there. Salt and vinegar again. Salt and vinegar perch eggs. There you go. Guys, I'm going to let James try these first because I'm not sold, but he's telling me that they're pretty good. I don't know. I don't know. This is pretty bold in my opinion. There you go, guys, right there. Going into the fryer. Yeah, good. Oh, Here we go. Oh, you kid. <laughs> Got it. Get it, get it. Get it, girl. That's a good nice. Nice. We're get frying it, up kid. fish eggs. One of the rods goes off. This one has the perch eye on it. There we go. Another pretty fish. Look at that. <laughs> awesome. Good catch right there. Look at that coming out. Season them a little bit and they'll be good to go, man. Wow, dude. Wow. The go. outside is pretty crispy, but the inside stays mushy. What, what would you say the texture is like? Most like? If you've ever had grits. Grits, okay, I've kinda had like, grits, yeah. Kind of like cornmeal. Okay. That's all it can remind me of, and the outside crunch is just amazing. Fried perch eggs, salt and vinegar, first time ever. Dude, cheers. Cheers, man. I think the thing I was most worried about, guys, was the texture, but it is, it's like grits. So with that, Outside crispiness, it holds it together, but yeah. the inside is still a little light and yeah. fluffy. Got it. But not fishy at all, huh? No, it's not like, oh, nasty. The salt and vinegar comes through really well. Oh, yep. That's actually not bad, guys. No, it's gonna show you still get it. Not bad at all. YouTube fam, what an absolutely epic day on the ice. Never a dull moment. There was always some action going on. Great bite today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the recipe. I will see you in the next one.